Well, hello. So on Monday, you got to see a video where I talked about an expensive pen that I purchased. Uh, I've had it for, well, at this point, as you're watching this, because I'm filming this a few days earlier, uh, at the point you're watching, it, I've had it for about a week and a half. I, uh, almost two weeks. So I am quite thrilled with it. Uh, very good writer. I, I did finally clean it out after its third fill of, what was it, Platinum Classic Forest Black. Um, I, I just, like, okay, I gotta do something different. So, what I want to do today is compare three platinum nibs. No, four platinum nibs. Uh, now, uh, I, I kind of wish I had, you know, I could compare the ground and unground version, but I can't. So, I'm going to do the best I can. So, what you're going to see today, you're going to see two pens with the Platinum President nib. That's going to be my Platinum President, which has a broad cursive italic nib. You're going to see the... Oh, my God. <laughs> my Platinum... I just sprayed. <laughs> COVID-19! Hope you had your mask on. Uh, my Platinum uh, Izumo. And then the, I will have two with the cursive, bro, double broad cursive italic nib. And then I, I will have two Platinum 3776s. Uh, I will have a Platinum 3776 with a Shung Yo finish with a coarse nib, which is Platinum's double broad. And I'll have a Platinum 3776 with a broad nib. And it's in the beautiful Koi finish. I am going to ink all of these pens up with Parker Quink Washable Blue. Uh, the idea is we're going to compare the nibs, and you can't compare nibs if you use different inks. So you're going to see a lot of Parker Quink Washable Blue, whether you like it or not. And uh, I, I, we're also going to spend a few minutes looking, you know, I'm trying to show the difference between nib widths but and nib grinds, but at the same time realizing that they are different nibs. So one of the things we'll have to look at is a little bit what is the difference between a Platinum President nib and a Platinum 3776 nib. Uh, so hope it's interesting. So let's dive into the writing. All right, so these are the four Platinum pens that I was talking about. So from top to bottom, this is a Platinum 3776 with a Sheng Yo finish. Very nice, you know, subtle design. Uh, Platinum 3776, a little bit different model of the 3776. This is the celluloid, the koi finish, which uh, I don't know if you can do koi ponds in North Dakota. They're pretty fish, though. And you can see it's a little bit smaller than the 3776 uh, Century. This is a Platinum President, supposedly their flagship line, for whatever that's worth. And then the Platinum Izumo, which uh, if you want a deeper look at the finish, go visit my review on the pen. I'll have links to reviews of all these pens down in the video description. Uh, the Platinum Izumo is the biggest of these. They're all cartridge converter pens. Uh, same cartridge or converters used in them. I'm going to be using the converter and uh, It's a proprietary converter. So I'm going to first just look at the nibs on the two platinum presidents and then we'll turn our attention to the two uh, uh, Three seven seven sixes and then we'll compare some nibs All right, so uh, the platinum president nib is a little bit retro. It's kind of got that whole funky uh, Art Deco look to it, which kind of matches their aesthetic, you know, on the clips. I like them. They're good nibs. Uh, they don't have a soft version of this nib, but they've got the other sizes. So the Izumo, the dark one, has a uh, double broad, which they call coarse cursive italic. Uh, the Broad, uh, the other one's a broad cursive italic, both ground by Dan Smith of the Nib Smith. Same sort of a feed. And yeah, we won't screw the caps back on. Hopefully, that doesn't end in tears. 
the other two pens. I have uh, are the three seven seven sixes. The koi is just a broad. The other one is a double broad. Not ground. And I don't remember where I purchased. Okay, the, the Koi I purchased from somewhere in Japan. It cost me about as much as a regular special edition 3776 before their prices shot up. And uh, nibs.com maybe? I don't remember. All right, so let's compare the two double broads. And you can immediately see some of the differences between a 3776 nib and a president nib. This was one that surprised me. I honestly thought the President nib would be bigger. And it's not. The main difference, let's see if I can turn light it just right here, is the 3776 nib is 14 carat. The President nib is 18 carat, which may be why they don't have a soft version of the President, because when you have a higher gold content, apparently you can't. Uh, turn them to the sides. Now you can really start to see the difference. Uh, the one that hasn't been ground has a big, huge honking blob of tipping. The other one does not. And from this angle, it's almost looking like the 3776 might be just a little longer. Let's turn it this way so we can tell for sure. Yep, they are. Uh, not much longer, but a little bit. And then we'll flip it over. Look at their respective feeds. And again, you can see the amount of material that's been ground off. Well, that's going to make it possible to do some of the cool things you'll see with its writing. All right, so let's compare the two broad nibs. Same thing, I'll put the president on the bottom and the 3776 on top. So we already saw the gold content. Uh, again, the 3776 nib seems a little longer, which honestly surprised me. From this angle, you can see that Dan Smith ground a lot of tipping off. That, again, makes that nice cursive italic. And the feeds are very definitely different. So now, I'm going to ink them up. And then we'll come back and we'll discuss. Okay, changed my mind. I'm not going to show you the whole inking process, but the president basically has this as its uh, deal. The the uh, other president is the same way. Uh, the three seven seven sixes are a little different. The koi fits over a nipple like that. And the century is a lot more like the president. Which, it's really fitting over a nipple there. Actually, the president does too. It's just a darker colored nipple. All right, so let's look at how they write. I'm going to compare, I'm going to try to do like to like, if that's possible. Let's zoom in a little. So I'm gonna start with the Platinum Izumo. Uh, C-CI means cur uh, coarse cursive italic, which is their version of uh, double broad. So we'll start with uh, one of these guys. Then we have the uh, Platinum President. And of course you can immediately see it's much more narrow. 
whoops, B. We'll just pause there for a second because I want you to see what the cursive italic is doing is it's making the downstrokes much broader than the across strokes. I almost think the uh, double broad has wider cross strokes or narrower cross strokes I mean. So C just means coarse. This is a test for obliqueness. Uh, Dan Smith does do obliques, but I've never uh, ordered one from him. Alright, so now I'm going to repeat the same tests, only I'm going to pair up the similar nibs, the uh, coarse with the coarse and the broad with the broad. And same as, and uh, I'll do the president first and then the, um, why am I drawing a blank? 3776 second. And I'm going to try to do them all at once through the magic of editing. All right, and they all fit on the screen, which is convenient. Uh, so we're talking differences here. I'm going to zoom in a little bit in a minute, but I just want you to show you the big things. And of course, I will have a preview or a photographs of this page on uh, the Evernote page that's linked in the video description. But I think you can see on the cross strokes when you compare the. Uh, Cursive italic with the regular, definitely a difference. Uh, the regular, I think in both cases, is just slightly narrower. So it's slightly italic, but not very. Um, of course, the you can definitely see the difference between the broad and the double broad. I think that's very evident. Uh, I don't see a whole lot of oblique character to these nibs, which I didn't expect any, so that's fine. It makes the swirly doodles here kind of fun. Uh, none of these pens have trouble with their flow. They're all comfortable pens for writing with. Uh, in, in fact, I've done a video where I compared a lot of Platinum 3776 nibs, and I didn't start getting displeased with them until I got down to the fine. Um, you know, take that for what it's worth. But, uh, yeah, I think we can see some real differences here. Uh, I, it doesn't look to me, when I, when I compare the two nibs, it may be that the 3776 is a slightly narrower nib. You know, just comparing these two. Let's zoom in on that because I think that's a little more interesting. Yeah. There you can see the nib size and the important bit here. So I, I think that the president nib is slightly broader than the 3776 nib. Same here with the broad. Um, don't know what that means, but seems to be the case. So, I don't know. Hopefully I at least gave you a look at some of the things with them. I, again, I'll have some photographs. I'll, you know, take them with my cell phone, but who's counting? <laughs> Up on the Evernote page, link down below. And you can zoom in on them to your heart's content. All right, so you're looking at some footage that I took uh, for another project. Uh, but I didn't use it, so I thought I'd fit it in here. 
Uh, so what do I think? Well, one of the things I realized after I filmed this is that, well, of course the ground nibs are broader. Uh, the regular nibs are kind of rounded. So, you know, picture a, how much of a ball sits on a hole on a piece of paper. You know, I, I know the nibs aren't balls, but let's just pretend because that's a good good way to picture it. You know, you, you don't get the, 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 the full diameter of the ball sitting on the piece of paper. You only just get a part of it. And that's what was going on with the ground nibs. Now, I would be very interested to compare an actual regular president nib to an actual regular 3776 nib. Uh, I just can't do it with the pens in my collection. Uh, so I will say this, the Curse of Italic offers an amazing amount of line variation. Uh, no, you can't get flex in a Platinum President nib because of the being 18 karat rather than 14 karat. Uh, but they are good nibs, and I think once they're ground like this, holy cow, that's amazing. So, uh, you know, I, I try not to uh, endorse specific people or companies or whatever. But uh, I, I will say Dan Smith, for the two pen, well, I guess I bought three pens from him, but the one was a piece of garbage and it wasn't his fault. Uh, but I will say with the two pens that I've purchased from him that he ground, wow, they're really good pens. They, they, they're really well ground. I uh, am very impressed with the nibs. And he even captured that platinum feel. So, uh... Yeah, I, I don't sponsor or anything, but uh, I wouldn't feel guilty about recommending Dan Smith if you want to get your nibs ground. Or if you want to buy a pen with a unique grind on its nib. Uh, but but aside from that, I, I hope it was interesting to see the President and the, and the uh, 3776 nibs compared. Like I said, I've owned both for several years, but I've never really compared them. I knew the gold content was different, but I did not realize that the 3776 nib was a little bit larger or that it had a different feed. So, uh, it's been eye-opening for me. I don't know why the Nakia uh, branch of Platinum decided to go with uh, the 3776 nib, but it does give them that soft nib option. So... All in all, I'm glad I made this video because I personally learned a few things. So I hope it was as edifying to you as it was for me. And hopefully these uh, lovely assistants who uh, I wanted them as my background for a different video. And uh, no, they weren't having that. They ran off when I tried that. Uh, they actually ran off while I was filming this footage. But hopefully that worked for you. So I want to thank you for watching. We'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.